What up? Chaz here. We're back in LA. We're here to track down Greg Irwin. My man is the drummer for Saint Motel, which you may have heard of. He's also a shredder on the bike, an amazing photographer. And again, he told me to take like two lefts and a right and look for the van. So I'm way up here in the hills and I found the van. But in all seriousness, you do a ton of stuff. You ride bikes, you take photos, and more importantly, you're the drummer in a really sick band. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, uh, I tend to, to lean on the uh, busier side of life. The music thing has been a, a, the most important part of my life for the last 25 years. <laughs> Somehow I'm still able to do it, and yeah. every day I'm like, just like, whoa, that's still my job. Isn't that fun? <laughs> someone pays, someone me, pays to, me to do this. Someone pays me to hit stuff with sticks? Like, that's wild. So were you always a musician that like started like from from childhood? This was something that you knew you were gonna get into, or how did you how did you step into this? Yeah, man, I'm I you know, my parents weren't musical per se, but my grandfather was a, a bagpiper. He was my they're all from my dad's side's all from Ireland and like so I grew up around like this marching band and 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 bagpipe music and then when I was 12 it was a school band kids were like we're gonna try out for the band I was like I can do that yeah. I don't You're know like, if I, I, like could. I don't know if I could but I was like I can do that and, and dude here we are you know quite a few years later <laughs> you know I remember that one day I was like I'm riding my bike a lot man should I wear those funny tights that I yeah, see the first, you know like the first thought of bibs first bibs first bike diaper you know and it was like Man. And then it just, you know, it snowballed from there and then hand me down bikes from friends and then it just turned into, then I started doing Criterium stuff and was. This is a speed machine. I don't know if I even deserve the speed that this thing can do, but you know, we're trying. This is the new uh, S-Works Crux. Once the band, my band St. Motel became busy enough where I wasn't able to like stay home and train and race, which was fine because that, the whole point was for me to yeah, be in this like, band. I just play the band. Yeah, once that became a thing, I was like, uh, you know, man, if I ever get to ride in a tour bus one day, I swear I'm gonna take my bike. There's a motivation to stay healthier, and then there's the, also the side that just the mental capacity that, or the mental benefits of having my bike. It's like, man, because the because that repetition every day for you know we've gone out for three months at a time before like it's a it. lot, especially to not be physically active for three months. Yeah. Plus you get a ride. I mean it, that's the whole thing with tour. You go to a different spot every day. Almost. That's it. So you get a ride in a different place almost every day. Dude, and you know how that is. Like, you know you can ride a million, yeah, we let, we're here in LA, I can ride, you can ride a million different rides yeah. right now. San Francisco, any city you can ride, you know the routes, you know the places. But it's still but like, your hometown. Yeah, and every, and you're like, ah, I don't I know the routes, I'll go ride tomorrow. On tour, you're like, I only have the next four hours to f f discover this place. Yep. So you go do it, and it's always been, always been a treat, man. Uh, St. Motel cycling team, which is essentially me, yeah. but I will do meetups on the roads. Rock and roll and music needs to be like, people need to know there is more balance to it, but like oh, cycling also needs to be cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so like, there's like this, like, we need to find them. I was like, oh man, I mean, I can show both. And like, so like not every day or not every place, but like, if I know I'm gonna have the time to do it, I'll say, like, shout, shoot out like on Strava or um, whatever, socials and be like, hey, guys, meet at X venue at, you know, 10 o'clock at the tour bus door and I'll be there. Yeah, and and like, ride. let's ride. And, and sometimes a couple of people show up, sometimes 10 or 15 people show up and like, it just, you, know, you never know. And it's just been, but that's been cool too. Cause Dude, that's so rad. I mean, that's literally the thing is like, you get to bring the, the music and the bike and get people out to like, go do stuff together and just be like, yo, check, check me out. Like, let me check out where you're at. Like, yeah. And, and that thing too is like, <clears throat> sometimes the people are fully aware of who I am or what the band is or fans. Some people it'll be like a fan and like a bunch of friends that have no idea, but then a lot of times they'll all come to the show that night yeah. and their minds are like, whoa, yeah, that's the guy we rode with. You don't stop a bullet when it's set in motion. You don't stop a fire when you ride an explosion. So All. <laughs> all right we just saw another part of la we just went to the thunderdome thunderdome yes with my guy greg um be sure to check out saint motel's new album the original motion picture soundtrack make sure to hit the buttons down there so you can <laughs> see this again you know the thing with the subscribing to the likes and all that and uh We'll check you next time. Take it easy. Peace. You don't stop a bullet when you set it to motion.